Hello and welcome to my Yu-Gi-Oh channel. Uh, please check out my videos and support if you can by subscribing and commenting. Everything's appreciated. Um, so today we're looking at more psychic support for the female lead within Yu-Gi-Oh 7's uh, the new anime. And it's all psychic support. Uh, the first card is a mini version of a boss monster. It's called Folder Blitz of the Dream Strings. It's a fire psychic effect level 7 monster with 2300 attack and 0 defense. The requirement is if your opponent's life points are at least 2000 or higher than yours, you can inflict 1500 points of damage to your opponent. Now this effect is okay because it, what it does is it tries to level the playing field a little bit. Um, if your opponent has quite high life points, you know, 1500 points of damage isn't too bad. I would say because this is a little bit conditional on you being at losing or in a losing position, um, summoning this card isn't always the best because that's all it does. It's a 2300 attack body otherwise. You pretty much treat it as a normal monster uh, if you're not able to meet this condition. Um, so for a boss monster it's quite lacklustre. Uh, the other card is Elec Electric Ampole. It's a normal spell card. It doesn't have any requirements, but the effect is to choose up to two face-up normal monsters. They must be level 2 or lower psychic type you control and gain life points equal to the chosen monster's total attack. Um, this card I really don't have much of an opinion on. Um, the whole idea of life point gain, uh, yes, that's always a good thing. Uh, but how much are you actually going to be getting in terms of life points? They're not putting very high um, attack position monsters out there, and from what I've seen, uh, some of what she's gotten in terms of support have been like 800 attack monsters. So potentially if you've got two of those, um, that's 1,600 life points you're getting. But again, um, you have to be pretty desperate to be in that position. Um, I see the point of interacting between them, the whole idea of some of the psychic monsters in the past, which were used by, say for example, um, say I used a combination of uh, psychic monsters within Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds uh, which required you to pay lots of life points uh, to trigger their effects. Um, so there were a few monsters, I think ideally a couple of their synchro mon monsters. Uh, Thought Ruler Archfiend definitely when it destroyed a monster you gain life points and there was another one which was a level 6 monster uh, which you gained 600 life points per psychic monster on your field uh, during your end phase um, those were uh, the point of those were to kind of uh, amp your life points up to a so you could basically pay the cost of the other cards um, I don't know whether they're going to go through the same route with these monsters but for the very least it kind of looks that way uh, what do you think of these two cards uh, is there anything you, you like about them uh, do you like the artwork of them um, is there anything particularly you want to see uh, within uh, further psychic support whatever you think leave your comments down below like the video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe